Wisconsin has been the exception. The only undefeated team in the Big Ten in Big Ten games on the road at Penn State. Sticking with what works, the same starting lineup that you'd come to expect. There is a change for Penn State. Nick Kern is with Mike Rhodes. Well, off we go on a Tuesday night from Wisconsin, trying to stay undefeated in the Big Ten. Penn State looking for their first top 15 win in three years. I think this game is going to stay and be a very high-scoring game because both of these teams can put the ball in the basket. Late clock, Ace Baldwin gets the first one down for the Nittany Lions. And they cleaned it up in the second half to beat the Wildcats on Saturday at home. And the Baldwin snaps a three-point drought the first trip down, and this is like to put the ball in the basket. I mean, who else you want shooting the ball? Now Wisconsin breaks the pressure, and Klesmith stays hot. He has been on an offense. Penn State working with some tempo. There's a three for Zach Hicks, and that goes. Play in the 50s and 60s. If Penn State can force them to play in the 70s and 80s, then they're playing to their strengths. And the survival for Wisconsin, and Wahab with the block on wall. So I get it. Penn State coming off a loss on Saturday at number one for two. Colin Klesmith chasing Clary off of that screen. Have to sit. You know, Chucky Hepburn is going to have to start stepping up and being that lead guard that Wisconsin needs. The fall away hit for Ace Baldwin. He's been more of a, a defense first and assist guy, especially lately. Three for AJ Storm. That's way strong. Wisconsin hustle back and have to communicate and putting them in odd number situations. They count three. Hicks can't hit a second in Wahab. It's hard to replicate something that you've almost never seen before. You know, they got dynamic guards. You know, you can't make a, a, a manager or a grad assistant faster uh, in, a, in a practice. For John Blackwell from three. And you're Detroit guys. Yes, Brother Rice High School. Oh, man, Baldwin held under double digits the last two games. But a good start here. Larry to the mid-range, and it slides off to Blackwell. Two, he stretches the floor so well. They have to put guys in like Connor or Sejan to help stretch the floor back out. But first two minutes losing a guy like Klesman. One of their best offensive rebounding years in a while. Corral had that put back. Stopped the run for Penn State. This is Kern wheeling in, and Wall crashes in with the Sejan. And didn't foul, didn't reach down and try to swat at the ball. Here's Wall going to work. Into the lane on Kern and the turnarounds, and the hook goes down. The corner from the wing, going in and lulling you to sleep in the post, dropping that foot back, shooting a nice jump pick hook right off the glass. Johnson team, and Kral is their best rim protector. Season through the back door and knocks it down. Instant offense off the being aggressive in the passing lanes. You open yourself up for backdoor cuts, and with a guy like Season, he can shoot the ball mid range and long range running their offense, that's not something that they're comfortable doing. Another deflection, down to four to shoot. It's Wall on the take, and they survived it anyway. You let Wall get that. Yes. Tough no call there. It's a great pass there by Baldwin. Puff Johnson also has to go touch that. And out of season. And Brown, lethal, outside shooter when he's feeling right. And Dunn gets to the rim. Devin Clary with six. And Wisconsin, number 11 team in the country. Perfect in Big Ten play. A.J. Storr, too heavy on the three. And that would mean 18 minutes of game time that Klesmit would sit. Yeah. Here's Storr, physical drive. Can't finish the bunny, though. Oh, those are one. Johnson shooting just above 30%. Ball in the hands of Clary again. This is for an O'Boyle three. Then he knocks it down. Tough to guard because now the bigs have to step up to the guards. They're forcing other teams to rotate. And if you're not used to doing that, Leo O'Boyle and Puff Johnson and guys like that are going to struggle a little bit this year. And Dunn going to work on Blackwell. And he's hit. Going to the line for two. In the passing lane. Disrupt this half court offense. Now they're back into their swing action. Something that when they're struggling to score, something that they go to annuity. But when they're struggling to score, they go back to that that Greg Gard, Bo Ryan special, that swing offense that everybody knows and loves from Wisconsin. Crowell had the dunk. He score. And here comes Clary with pace between the legs, leaves, and it's another three for Hicks. Oh, 
turn, cradled it. And nice recovery for Ilver to get a hand on it. Now Storr out in transition. The fit. Let's see if that's one that pushes Wisconsin closer ahead of the under four. Here's Blackwell on the take. And back-to-back -back plays at the rim for the Badgers. And it's helping out Blackwell on the drive from Baldwin. And there's the steal for Kern. He'll keep it himself. So you're stopping Penn State from getting extra possessions. And Baldwin stays in at least for this possession with two fouls. Brown is at the scorer's table. And Blackwell. And Wisconsin will have a second look at it. Ilver rewards himself after the offensive rebound. Points for Wisconsin. Think back to the Nigel Hayes, Ethan Happ team. A good offensive rebounding team. This is the best for Wisconsin since then. Left unbeaten. And they're trying to keep a two-game lead on Purdue, who beat Indiana early tonight in the Big Ten standings. And they get the first touch, and Crowell with a tough make. Right on the very tough shots. And there's Wisconsin again with another turnover, trying to do a little too much in the paint. Oh, Clary. That looked like an impossible. Physical with, you, with each other and getting their teammates open, on and off the ball. You see a lot, of more, a lot more open shots than you normally would with both of these teams playing great defense. Yeah. Wall runs Hicks off the line, and Hepburn helps him out with the steal. Up ahead, Storr! Oh! Oh, man! Oh. And I'm taking you with me. Great pass by Chucky Hepburn. Excellent finish by A.J. Storr. And Clary gives him the lead right back. Rim. Greg Gard was telling us about one of those he had in practice recently. Just like that. Crowell with the turnaround to tie this game right. Board lob. Very rare play, but... Super effective, I might say. Baldwin, another tough one. Him and Clary high to go. We set it to 20 seconds. Glesmith off the second chance for the Badgers. Tie it up again. That burn got there to close out. Baldwin off the jab. Knocks it in. Yeah, going in that little run they had. It was starting to avalanche the number 11 team in the country. Getting it tied three times. And Wall with another answer to bring him with it. Outside the lane. He took it straight at him. Played big and finished anyway. Lesmith taking hits on the screen. And it's rewarded for Lilly, who is late. Storm gave up on the step back. Instead takes it inside and gets the bounce. Look at it. Like some guys levitate, some guys have craft. Yeah. Store for three. He is doing everything right now. AJ Store with 16 points on the night, and all of a sudden he has a game high. Baldwin hits him back. To defeat the Nittany Lions here on the road. And he had a big fall away jump shot late in that game against Northwestern. Well, Wisconsin stay undefeated in Clemson. It just goes to show what Greg Gard talks about when he has veteran leaders, guys that are comfortable in their offense and comfortable in their own skin. Tough shot making back a few minutes ago. Rebound sets up a chance to extend the Penn State lead. And Dunn slices in off the glass. Has been struggling to find wins in those, in those you know, little bit of lulls of lost droughts. But a win today against the top and get a good good quality shot here well, shot making has been excellent both ways in this half and that is an easy look playing rotations and that's not their strong suit especially early in the shot clock ball no winter yes after he got it back it's back in the hands of clary Lock dripping down to 10. Fall away goes, and a foul. Was called for the blocking foul. When he thought it should have been a charge. Yeah. Blackwell three. Book it. On Lilly. Right back to Baldwin. It's been perfect from out deep tonight. Blackwell running with him. Step back. Three goes down. This is a night that Mike Rhodes put Kern back into the starting lineup because he was scoring. The last couple of games, Larry off the hesitation. Has a lefty with his right hand, high and soft right off the glass. And he's got his 10th 20-point game of the season. Kanye, Larry, and Crowell is all. He saw that the guy was closing out to him, 
and made the extra pass to his teammate, making the right play. That was an excellent play, very unselfish by Zach Hicks. Crowell diving to the rim for the dunk. Hepburn cut off by Kern. Kern has those four fouls, forced to give up. Klesman gives the Badgers the lead. First time tonight. The defense from Wahab, but play not finished yet. If you're Wahab, you can't give up those, off those uh, steals late. And Storm, big road wins in the Big Ten already. And trying to come back from what was once a 12-point hole. Tied at 72. No look, pass Wahab from both. The stretch, both with four fouls. Klesmith already out of the game for Wisconsin, fouled out. Clary into the lane, and it rolls home. Clary. Wisconsin road. You can, you know, you can get handed a loss by anybody. And Wisconsin's trying to avoid their first, the last undefeated team in league play. At five and it looks like they're more poised because they played in a few or more of those tighter games. Clary on the take, slithers past, and he's would be the biggest win in year one under Mike Rhodes. In the hands of AJ Store, their top score scoops, and he's blocked. Recovery from one. We're playing it out here. Seven on the shot clock. Clary pulls up and banks it in. Not afraid to take advantage of the mismatch late. Very uncharacter, I mean, very unnormal for a, a first year sophomore really getting a lot of playing time in a big time game. Way. Hepburn, can he secure it? No. Baldwin pushes it ahead to Dunn. Wahab is up ahead. Seven point game. Final ticks, A.J. Store. That counts, point four, in State College. Here come the students, an upset of number 11, Wisconsin. Calm basketball plays. You know, Mike Rhodes said they want to be bold. They want to be different. They want